All right, let's continue. Thousand year dollar. Um, I found out where I'm going, right? Yeah, I did. Need to go to see Don Pianta. Before we do it, let's check with this. I don't think I'll ever win this. I will need to buy items again because uh, that last boss, man, it actually... did kick my butt a bit. But we can worry about that a bit later when we get closer to the next boss. Oh. Right, you know, there is stuff I can do. Okay, see. There's that. There's another one I know of that I know I can get now with our friend the bomb. It's actually quick. Thanks to this. It'll be in second second chapter? No, third chapter. There's also stuff in the first chapter. These ones are all the same. Okay, that's done. Oh, she's here. Thank you, Greg Gonzalez. No, thank you, Mario. You're a true champion, huh? Who am I, you ask? <laughs> you don't know? I'm someone you know quite well, actually. When I go outside the arena, I like to cut loose and shed my... Oh! Really? That makes sense. She just takes off her glasses. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that didn't click. Yeah, that's like a super... Well, I, I mean, there's a lot of characters that look similar, but they're not the same character, so I just assumed they were different characters. But yes, this is a Superman thing. Super Toad, Super Shroom. I think there was one at the start of this one. Just... I remember there being a crack in the wall that I couldn't figure out. But now we can. Okay, let's pop in. Hang on, let's get Coops out. I hope you're not causing everyone trouble. Problems, Coops. Be strong, my love. Okay, never mind. Wow. 
I'm trying to remember where this crack in the wall was. Something here. I'll find it. Maybe I'm imagining it or confusing it with something else. There's also stuff like this, so. Am I wasting my time? Am I wasting my time? I might be wasting my time. not be remembering correctly. I know one of them, maybe it might have been the, 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 uh, the chapter after this one. Oh, crap. This is not worth fighting. just aim to hit him with the hammer. I think I gotta have that option. Okay, so it's not here. I know that was somewhere that was like a crack in the wall. Oh, there's no fast travel here, so. <laughs> Gotta walk. Actually, yeah, I can do this. Shouldn't be able to catch me. Is that maybe now? Oops. Oh. 
you are. Where am I thinking this is? I bet it's in the next chapter. It's in the next chapter, it has to be. Alright, it's fine. I did get something for coming here. Alright, I'm going back out. Let's just continue. see the dawn not being here. I still haven't really played any of those mini games. Ugh, Francesca. Ah, oh, poor boss. That big man's been sick with loneliness since his daughter skedaddled. Our underboss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's a syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for yous? What? Tickets for the ritziest train around for the Excess Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that rolling wingding? Ooh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, give it, us giving out tickets, that's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If only we could help the boss see his daughter again. You mean those Piantas, Frankie and Francesca? They were on Kill Hill, Kill Hall Key. Who's on the what now? Why did you just say repeat that? You know where the young Miss Pianta is at? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you're lying, I will turn you into confetti. So help me. Well, if that's where she is, then why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We'd go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Miss Francesca. And we'll ask the boss to do something about your little train situation. We got a deal or what? Deal. See, now that's better. I knew once you understood our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. <laughs> uh. Well, I can't do like a mobster voice. So that's like the next best thing to me. I guess we gotta use the boat to get back out there. No, we can just use the pipe. Hmm. 
Hmm, they don't appear to be here. Oi, Captain Stash. What, the Piantas? Oh, they're in the jungle looking for something, I think. Alright, cool. Let's go, Ponus. Oh, there. Oh, hi there, Mario. What brings you back here? Can we do something for you? What? The boss is sick. Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. And at a time like this? You see, I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring, otherwise something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. <laughs> Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about the ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was a symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. You're going to have to say you love me a hundred times. One hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, uh, come on, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now, please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Ah, oh, fine, you dizzy dame. I love you. 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 Is this really going to? I love you. 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 Oh my god. I'm not reading this. Sorry. I'm going to have a stroke reading. <laughs> this is just like the Zote bit in Hollow Knight. We, it, it's just like... You read his rules. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Oh. There, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly billy. Hee hee hee. Now, my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? Now, you think these guys are going to be all right looking for that thing on their own? Listen, Gonzalez, we'd better play it safe and help them, don't you think? From here and Skull... Like, obviously, it's not going to be in this room. It's going to be a case of something ate it. Like they said. Good. I'm so much better at doing that skill. worthwhile fighting these things.
Ah, oh, come on. I was trying to jump. I could have skipped this area, but I was looking for it because I wanted to be concise in my search. That doesn't matter. I wonder if it's going to be hidden in bushes. It's a possibility. Oh yeah. I bet this one's simple. No? Really? Huh. I'm surprised. I thought there'd be a hidden block. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was obvious. I don't know, something... The design of this Yoshi has kind of grown on me. I thought it was strange at first with the hair, but... I think it's just because of its size being very tiny. It's grown on me. Uh, hey, that's it. That's it. That's the ring. That's the ring. You found it, pal. Cranky, now we can go home to daddy. We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. All right. when you think this chapter was over. Okay, Mario, I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Oh, Daddy, please hang on until we get there. Get boss, I need to go back to Rogueport. Muy bien. We are off. Cast off to Rogueport. Sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. And all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. We have to see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francesca. Man, they run pretty quickly. We've already talked to Luigi. <laughs> what happened to the investor dude? The dude that was supposed to make it rich. Did he just take my coins and just get out of here? But I got the feeling I'm going to regret not giving him more money. Like, it's going to be a thing later on. Oh, 
Daddy, 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 wake up. Open your eyes. Boss. Francesca? Daddy! Boss. <laughs> oh, my little Francesca, you came back for me, and you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Ugh, Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Please forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of yous to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two lovebirds. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the Don of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. No, it's my time, I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Pianta Syndicate. What? But, but, boss. You still got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean, me, boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you, a good one. You want to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate the way I did? Boss. You, Mario. It looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah. Uh, uh, about that, boss. Oh, this gonna be just beautiful. You, I know it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told them we'd ask you about a ticket for the Excess Express if he brought your daughter. <laughs> Whoa, is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten. Help yourself. <laughs> you come back anytime you like. How about that? Wow. Alright. Well, now that I'm retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy. Boss. You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that, you. You're the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Frankie, we've got lots of work to do, and... Don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Ah, oh, sweet bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Huh? F -f 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 Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss, tee hee. I'm the boss. Uh, I mean boss, you got our loyalty. We'll be by your side when you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah. You ever think about joining up with the syndicate? It's the life, kid. Alright, we're good. There's nothing hidden here, right? No. Alright. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Yes, 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 we can go to Poshley Heights, yes. That sixth crystal star is as good as ours. Wait. <laughs> I heard that, my uglies. I think I know who this is. So the sixth crystal star is in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Hey, you're that Beldum. 
Normally, this would be where I finally deal with you and that sappy traitor, Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise, so you live for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. <laughs> wow, that sounded bad. We gotta get to Poshley Heights before that witch. Let's make track for Ragport Station. This is the XS Express, bound for luxurious Poshley Heights. Passengers must present a ticket to board. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Yep. Watch your step, please. How's my week going? Ugh, it's just a long week. One more day to go. And then I got a long weekend, so. Looking forward to that. So it's the last long weekend for a while. The next one's in September, so gotta enjoy. Three days of excess? Okay. What's the holiday? It's a dumb holiday because I don't know how, I don't know the reason of it, but it's the king's birthday, which was formerly the queen's birthday. And every state celebrates it on a different day, practically. And the days which we celebrate it on, it's not even their birthday. So I'm not sure the point of it, but it's a day off. <laughs> ah, yeah, the Excess Express. This is so deluxe, man. The three days to Poshley Heights are going to be over like that. Huh? Hey. You see that? Something on the floor? When did you that get there? Australia has a king? No, because we're part of the glorious commonwealth. That we must, uh, you know, facilitate said commonwealth related holidays. Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now or a sticky, yummy doom awaits. Excuse me? Wow, what a freaky treat. You don't think this could be Beldum's work, do you? Whoever this creep is, you gotta figure out a figure there on this train, right? We gotta get this guy before anything bad goes down on this train. It's a day off. Yeah. I'm not complaining about the day off. It's just more... I mean, even the other, you know, the horse race and the football game, um, public holiday make more sense than this one, because at least there's historical significance. This is just like, oh, it's the king's birthday? No, it's, it's not his birthday. <laughs> not even our king. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car where you eat and stuff. Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummily fabulous food. And this trip we have is a super famous actor on board Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I hope so. He comes here. I so hope he comes here to eat. I want an autograph. He's a can't read. You live in England, you don't get a day off. <laughs> well, you know... The public holiday was rebranded from the Queen's birthday to the King's birthday. It's not even the King's birthday. I might buy some stuff. It was poison. Who knows what this does? Take a chance to find out. Nope. 
Panther. That should do. And then we have one for, like, you know, if we find anything. Uh, but yeah, I'm not doing anything. I am honestly just gonna chill, because this week has been a very long one, so... I don't really want to do anything. Detective Penguin? I'm on my way back home. I've strayed so long, I've forgotten what it looks like. Is this gonna be like a murder mystery? Bill, I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive in Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account, yes. Oh, you are the champion of Glitz Pit, are you not? Yes, the Great Gonzalez. Bound for Poshley Heights. Well, it is certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. We are en route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bub here. Ah, hmm, my, my, my. Ah, yeah, I'm Bub, and we're gonna get a cool birthday present for me, and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? Hello to you and welcome to the XS Express. I am the conductor on this train. And I trust you to be Mario from Cabin 5. Make yourself at home. Just to let you know, beyond here is the baggage car. I'm sorry, but I can't let passengers in. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? I see. Good gracious me. Thank you for letting me know. Please be careful out there and return to your cabin. I don't like how that was phrased. Hmm, yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? The question before us, yes, what to call it. Yes, the case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, this will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What a mystery! A mystery, you said, and uh, um, exactly what kind of dish is that? I'm known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I'm a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh. The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all, and so my esteemed friends. I can only conclude that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman. What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I, I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Um, pardon me, sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills. You understand? Yes. Sorry. <clears throat> yes, very good. Now, let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So what we know so far is... Is that we don't know who the culprit is. 
And, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it, right? Man, this scene's for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my cabin. Huh. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your cap cabin, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No! No way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up, you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer? Geezer? I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but, well, then, who did do it, hmm? hmm. This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. My magnificent stew, I, uh, shrew, I mean stew, I mean why, why? A clue, there's traces of something on the floor. Wow, this looks like spilled stew on the floor. Nasty. I almost stepped in it. We can just follow the trail to the thief, don't you think? And you know what? It might even be the sneaky so-and-so who made the sticky yummy treat. What makes me say that? If you steal, you probably do other bad stuff, right? You, my whiskered friend, have been hovering rather suspiciously, haven't you? Hmm. I find that rather suspect. Highly suspect indeed. People, I have apprehended the rogue, yes. I've broken the case wide open. He has been skulking about this area the whole time, under our very noses. The pot of the supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously banned it. Is you! You are not the bandit, you say? Hmm, indeed. You would say that. Well, if you are not, in fact, the crook, then perhaps you could prove your innocence. By searching for the real perpetrator. Then we will know that it is not you, fair? Fine. <laughs> the Ramsey voice, I mean, the Ramsey voice minus swearing. Why is this so temperamental? Hey! This is driving me nuts. Like, sometimes I get it first try and then other times it's just... There we go. It's like a specific spot. Cabin 3. <laughs> whoa, 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 what do you want? Ugh. Sorry about that now. What were you saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen, and you blame me right away with no evidence. Not nice. What? Drops a stew on the floor outside? N no. I wouldn't know anything about that. No. People spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so there's no need to look. You won't find a thing. There are several gourmet food magazines in here. One of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There is a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. There is something else under the magazines. An empty stew pot. This thing looks like it was licked clean. Oh, I'm sorry. I ate it all. It was me. So, 
you were so enamored of that stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was shopping shallots. Shallots. I should say shallots because that's how he says it. And you stole the entire pot when the chef, the chef was chopping shallots. Answer. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never reoccur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to collar the ruffian. Now, at that note in your cabin. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided, confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in cabin six so that we meet, may discuss this in private. Oh, and uh, please return the pot to the chef if you could. Sorry for causing all the commotion. But man, that stew was scrum diddly umptious. I can't wait for dinner. I don't know what that voice is. <laughs> I couldn't think. How would a obese person that ate a pot of stew sound like? Oh, it sound like this. I just ate 36 kilos of stew. It was yum diddly umptious. Um, oh, that's, I guess I should return it. Oh, good sir, you discovered my thoughts. Wait, my pot. Ah, sir, you are the hero of my world. You have brought back my dear pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it thanks to you. From me. Here is just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Ah, why must I butcher this language? So shameful. Please take it, I mean. Wait. Should save. I think his cabin is further ahead. It's not back here. Yeah. It was practically a murder mystery sort of thing. You think they would clean up though? <laughs> like, can't be sanitary. Ah, I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think that you apprehended. The one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I have deduced from this, from the lack of any incriminating clues in his cabin. In any case, I must say I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So, it is decided then, I shall take you on as my new assistant. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Poshley Heights. I'm known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I'm sure you've heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait. I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That's mustache. That's nose. Hmm. Oh, uh -huh. all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? No need to introduce yourself. 
I know all about the famous Luigi. Now, about this threat. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. It's a sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bombs, they are definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. <laughs> I love that just everyone gets his name wrong. It's, it's amazing. I think we should get Little Bub, the Advanced Learner's classic series of bobomery. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house? Bub is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister. Are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Here's your hint. It has an AU at the front. Now you've got it, don't you? AU at the front? Just suddenly became Crypt Master. He wants Australia. That's weird. None of, none of the items in the shop have AU in it. Did I finish that game? Uh, I did, yeah. It's done. I mean, it could be gold. You solved this incident in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Sure. Really? Okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something, please? <laughs> but Australia isn't real. Yes, yes, paid actor, blah, blah, blah. You fine, fine specimen of a man, you. You're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. Where's the I need an adult option? <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Do you please hasten the search for me, you boldly brilliant man, you? Everyone hits on Mario. Autograph from the Great Gonzalez. You know, it could be that. It could very well be that. What does that little bub kid want as a present, huh? 
Well, I'm sure I'd be stoked to have an autograph from a famous movie star guy, right? <laughs> Sorry, though. That's a no-can-do from me. My fee for autographs is way out of your budget. Hey, Gonzalez. You think that bub kit want might something from a guy he admires, maybe? Whatever he wants, we gotta find it soon. Or else, boom. Yummy and sticky. Yeah, but like... I think you might be right. I get the feeling I need to get the present box and then... Yeah, gift him an autograph. I get the feeling that's probably the case. When you meme and it turns out not to be a meme, oh, that has happened to me plenty of times. Probably what the uh, the gift box is for. But then, how do I? Now I need to figure out how to actually sign. Maybe visit the accountant. <laughs> I was really looking forward to plopping that stew on my expense account. Oh well, I'll just order the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. It doesn't have paper. Oh. <laughs> that, that works. That's not quite right. Um, maybe the detective has paper? The thing that young Master Bub wants most. Well, let us deduce, shall we? Why, it is rudimentary. He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. Yes, I'm quite sure. My grasp of... The modern youth culture's enthusiast desire has never been stronger. I'd like a Game Boy Advance. I w oh, at, in this time period, I would have loved a Game Boy Advance. From whence this game is from. I guess I technically have one now with the analog pocket, but it's not quite the same. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not doing that for a dried mushroom. It's definitely an autograph. I should have checked uh, the guy's drawer. It probably would have had paper in it. I love how he's just standing there in his room eagerly for the next meal. Can we borrow some paper? How about that? Let me borrow some paper. Sorry. <laughs> hmm.
I am paper. Well, I can't sign myself, can I? <laughs> Running this train during the sunset is the high point of every day for me. So let's all hear it for the Excess Express. Huzzah, huzzah. Okay, well, I have a gift box, so maybe... Why not? You can ride on skin. <laughs> That's... I don't know why, that just sounds like a disturbing sentence. You can ride on skin. On the topic of, like, Boomer lies. Boomer once told me that if you, you know, write on skin too much, you'll get ink poisoning and die. The hint, yeah, yeah. No. No, but... So I need to somehow get this item? Yeah, so I can't just talk to him and say that I know what it is. I need to somehow acquire this item. Milky pens were big when you were growing up. Milky pen? What the hell is a milky pen? I guess the only one I haven't talked to is the conductor. I can hear everything that family's been fighting about loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. The boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's not my autograph. It's the train engineer's autograph. I bet because I didn't talk to... That dude, that's now, now clear. There were colored pens to draw on your skin. I don't know if we had those here. All I remember was being told that if you dr if you draw too much on your skin, the ink will poison you. Just one of the many boomer lies, like sit too close to a screen and you'll go blind. Spend too much time on a computer or in front of the TV or playing games and you will go blind. <laughs> you want my autograph, sir? Oh. It's for little Bob. Well, yes, of course. Here you go. Okay, thankfully it's a key item. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. Your eyes will go square, yeah. Or keep making faces and your face might, like, tear a muscle or something like that. <laughs> the best one is learn math, because you're not always going to have access to a calculator. That's a good one. That one aged rather well. I mean, learning math is important, but, like... There's no need to lie about the fact that you're never going to have access to a calculator. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? There we go. 
Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it. Promise. Alright, so the thing I need to find... There's earrings and there's a ring missing. <laughs> Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to the passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came aboard without a ticket. That stowaway might just be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket. I thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. Honestly, great. Thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. I haven't yet found the ring. It doesn't look like you can search anything else. I don't think anyone stole it either. I mean, you have a look around. Curse this tongue of mine, I mean the evening hors d'oeuvres. Hmm. Welcome to the dining car. You are just the greatest. Thanks so much for agreeing to find my shell earrings. I've had no luck in that so far. This is our room. Oh yeah, right, the dried mushroom. No, don't want that. <laughs> it's just one HP. smacking stuff. <laughs> Apparently milky pens were meant for drawing and writing on dark paper, but in school you all draw on your hands and arms. <laughs> That's why I was confused. I don't think they would have had pens that were intended to, like, marketed to be drawn on your hands. Can you imagine the TV commercial? You know why? Because it effectively would have been a toy that encouraged tattoos for children. I, I mean, I know the 90s were crazy sometimes. In terms of, you know, the stuff that was marketed towards children, but I don't think they would go that far. Like, that's the sort of thing that would have had some strong uproar. Got in on 60 minutes. I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion coin art flick in Poshley Heights, yo. I tell ya, being a celebrity is rough. Everywhere I go, girls mob me for my autograph. It's exhausting. person I haven't really checked in again with is, uh, the toad that ate everything. I 
have no idea what this is supposed to be. There's no clues. And now we have to find the stowaway. I guess we should be talking. Oh, what's wrong? I heard some noises in the cabin next uh, a little while ago. Weird ones. When I looked in there, it was empty. I was like, okay, that was freaky. Then when I came back, I heard the noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking the cabin for me? Oh. You know what? I should be using different abilities. I keep forgetting that. That's like hours I have. Alright, this is a good way to be a detective. Oh. What the? So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects. Like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket, then? Well, I'll tell you where it is. If you do something for me, what do you say? All I need is... You're alive! No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Alright. And don't you even dare read my diary! Because if you do... <laughs> a horrible fate awaits you. I don't know how to do like a spooky voice, so... Whatever that was. See, now I'm just going to do this in every room. Hold on. Did I see something move or was it just my eye? I may have imagined that. Alright. I bet there's like a hidden door or something. <laughs> Do you find the blanket? <laughs> what? A ghost? Ah. And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, going in. You don't say no to ghosts. That's the diary. Okay. Don't read it. I said a picture of the milky pens. Hang on. Yeah. I mean, I know. Okay. I've I've seen those pens before. I don't think they were called milky pens. I forgot what they're called, but they used to. They're just used to draw on dark paper.
Hmm. Oh, it almost worked. Hang on. How'd I did How'd I get him up? He was up. What? <laughs> he was walking on it. Hang on. Oh, okay. It's like a little further back. There we go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought I could send them in there. I think I can walk in there myself. I just need to platform across. How would I even do that, though? Hmm. None of these are going to help. Right, well, I got the diary back. Did you find the diary wonderful? I knew you would. Now, I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. The only pens that I wanted as a teenager were like Copic markers. They were like expensive markers that you used to draw. They're pretty cool. But pricey. Wait, I went past my room. Did you find my diary? In that case, can you place it in that drawer? Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. You are very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. And now I can go peacefully from this world. Thank you very much. You will probably never meet me again in this world. Very well. <laughs> well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've kind of gotten used to it. The wood paneling's so great, maybe I'll just stay here a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. <laughs> well, the toad is dead, so you know. It's fitting. I can't access it. Alright, well that's one mystery solved. Is there any ability that'll help with finding lost items, I wonder. Toad died. Well, not the toad, a different toad. It almost feels like there should be a door here. I'm going to keep talking to people and it might progress. Is there a lost and found here? Did I got this? Hang on. I did. Okay. Driving at night is so mysterious with the lights and bugs and whatnot. So let's all hear it for the XS Express. Huzzah! Huzzah! I'm not going to mess with the train. 
the obese one? No, the obese- Oh yeah, what happened to the obese toad? No, but he's in the next room. It's just some other toad. Non-related. Yeah, I've already heard this. Yeah, she's still asking for the gold ring. Hmm. There's a ghost next door. They're just trying to get my coat now, aren't you, you big liar? There's no such thing as ghosts, right? Right? Come on, tell me I'm right. Come on, please. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you know anything else? No, it's the same. You would think if anyone's seen anything, it would be the toad. Okay, five is our room, so I doubt there's anything in here. Okay, same thing. Nothing here. Have I missed the obvious? <laughs> I'm not sure. Ticketed passenger was a ghost. My dear Luigi, you are delusional. Do you have the vapors, lad? Okay, he's not gonna say anything useful. So who's gonna talk about these missing earrings and ring? What about you? A ghost on the train? Well, does the ghost have a ticket? Because I certainly do. I bought one fair and square with my expense account. Must be nice. Hey, uh, by the way, what's a detective anyway? Okay. We must get him something that befits the station of our family. I have a reputation to think of, Sylvia. Well, I think we should get him the classic series of Bobomery. Okay, they're not listening. So then what gives? Where are these items? Okay, hang on. Let's give the blanket. All oh, right, all right, all right, all right. So, Mr. Mario, how'd you do with the blanket? Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. You can't carry any more items. All right, what am I getting rid of? Probably the dizzy dial. It's like, not that great. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. You're in cabin five in case you forgot. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express. I bet it's probably just one mystery per day. <laughs> hey, let's grab a few winks, huh? Hey. 
There we go. Day two. Okay. I guess let's see what's up. Good morning, so any chance you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? Nope, not yet. Hello, it's a good feeling day. Isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I will make food so delicious it will make the day mad. Hoi, 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 hoi. Talk to the detective. Oh, what now? Oh, not good, not good. If I don't find that thing, I'll be sacked for sure. Ah, my dear Luigi. Your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman. Please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Oh, of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive. The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky, yet yummy, shellac. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Oh. Let's examine the facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday, hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I, it's rudimentary, my dear Luigi, rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. Pennington, you've done it again. Luigi. Have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin too? They've both, both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings. And the lady, Toodles, lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they could make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. There is but one option, Luigi. You must find that thief. Oh, never mind. Same text. Well. It's a whodunit. Would it be the ones... It wouldn't be the ones with missing items. It wouldn't be the family, so... Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We will be stopping at Riverside Station today, around dusk, I believe. Could it be? Did you see that zip toad came to last night's dinner? 
But I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they all are. Interesting. Zip toed the fake. Guys probably won't be here during the day. Hey, morning, Mario. Have you been to the dining car yet today? I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad, chattery nightmare. But thanks to that incident, the cook and I are pals now. Isn't life weird? <laughs> still. <laughs> With the fork and spoon, it's funny. Well, hello there, you cute, cuddly bear of a man, you delightful dear. Have you found my gold ring? Don't grow desperate now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. Wow. Oh. Vital paper. This looks like something very important and complicated. Okay, let's go hand it to the detective. Plot twist of detective. <laughs> it's the criminal. and six. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? What is this paper? Hmm. What sort of clue is this supposed to be? Well, uh, that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Cabin 1, you say? Yes. Zip Toad's room. A place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi. Find that Zip Toad. Probably in... If I was to take a guess, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Detective Mario. So no one's suspicious during the night. I get the feeling he's in the back there somewhere. Or we could probably use Vivian's skill to hide in his room.
Has anyone seen Zip Toad? Good morning to you, sir. Did you sleep well? We'll be making a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. I guess I haven't checked the, um, the dude's cabin, the guy that got something stolen. There might be a clue in there. cabin. Hmm. Good morning, mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. Top of the morning to you, Gonzalez. I'm afraid you saw us at our arguing worst yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. Little Bub has been in high spirits since yesterday. I wonder why he's so happy. That's every cabin except my cabin? Which cabin haven't I checked? I've, I haven't been to the ghost one, because I, I figured, well, daytime. And my cabin. Oh. Could this be another clue? Okay. Another document from the briefcase. I suspect the suspect must be in here somewhere. Oh, I see him. So, where did you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. This was our man all along, pretending to be zip toed I see. All the while pilf pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, yes. This was all just as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril here tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses. I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend. And the good people on this train are now safe. Or indubitably, no one escapes from this improbably large brain. Well, yes, in any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. Briefcase. 
Where's the rest of it? Gold ring. Earrings. Cool. Ah, my precious briefcase. Is the nitro syrup safe? Oh, thank you, thank you. Now the stars. Thank the stars, it's safe. Now I won't get the sack. I can't read. <laughs> Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Attention all passengers, this train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. That looks nice. Hey, I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Beldum would flip if I let that happen. This whole zip toad thing was just a means to an end. It's me, Dupless. Beldum's plan to glorify Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Beldum. See ya, suckers! Wanna get outside for a second? The exit is in the first car. Sure. Why not? Um, we gotta... First turn in... Oh man, I hope... It's not gonna be a case of I get rewards and then I, I can't hold said rewards. Hold on. I think these are less useful. Okay. Now we have room for rewards. Welcome, welcome. Oh, did you find them, my shell earrings? There you go. Ooh, there they are. These are my earrings. Thank you so much. Hey, and before I forget, take this as my thanks. You are like the nicest old mustache overall wearing guy I've ever met. Found my gold ring, you mystery sniffing master. Here you go. Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It's merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. And do take care. Alright, now we can get off the train. <laughs> Thinking there's a star piece here. It's so super cool looking, I want to drive it right now. So little Bob really likes trains, does he? Where does one buy a train? Oh no, what do we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge. The train can't leave the station like this. I saw some suspicious looking shadowy people wearing hats go into the station. They must have gone down to the control room to flip the switch here. But that switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. 
So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go find and throw that switch? Maybe? Sure thing. Really? That would be super! No time to get started like the present. Uh, so here's the key to the station's entrance. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, I've been cooped up in there, breathing stale air too long. I just wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. Oh yeah, this is the battle, dude. Do I need a... Yeah, no, it's fine. Ah, my dear Luigi. Our suspect was not only a fake zip toad, he was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us the slip like that, though. He was a rather slippery sort. We could have questioned him about all of that Beldum business. This is the Riverside Station. We've stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here from when pleasure boats cruised the canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned into a pasture. Pleasure boat? What do you mean, pleasure boat? How does one get that? No idea. Anyway, this is probably Vivian's chapter because, you know, the villains are her sisters. Oh, okay. I wonder if that affected the previous room. Let's go see. You never know. Okay, it didn't. New enemies? Sorry, we can tattle on them. Oh, stupid analog stick. Yes, there's nothing wrong with Nintendo controllers. No drift at all. No overly sensitive D-pad and analog stick. This is a rough puff, don't confuse them with dark puffs. Although I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them, but anyway. Max HP 7, attack 4, defense 0. They swoop at you or charge themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while they're charged, you'll get a shock. And they'll absorb any lightning attacks you throw their way, so don't do that. Typical that, like, my damage items are electricity based. And now I get these enemies. Ooh. 
Ups. I get the feeling Vivian can't touch them with the fist. Damn it, man, my timing is off. Oh man, there's multiple. I mean, I should be fighting where possible. What's wrong with me? <laughs> no, I'm just that tired. Oh, I can't use hammer. Um, nope, even that doesn't work. You know, I haven't. You know who I haven't really used much? Flurry. Yeah, I mean, she's probably going to take damage for this. Yeah. I haven't really used Flurry much. Of all the partners, definitely gotten the least amount of use. Let's see what this does. Oh! What is that? Dodgy summer attacks will automatically... Whoa! That's cool. So it's like, yeah. Cool. Random item apply. I wonder if there's a downside to that. If there's a chance to get an item that has a bad effect, you know? What's this? Hmm? Hang on. Do those represent button inputs? since the age of four, yeah. What is the trick to this? Come on. <laughs> oh, very good. Maybe there's no trick, it's just time based. Come on. That's <laughs> wrong. Oh my god.
Good. All right, that didn't line up. That didn't line up. That wasn't my fault. It was never going to line up. What? Oh, no, I need to jump back. I think I need to jump back. That might be it. Okay, wait for it to align. Now. And jump forward. And jump back. And jump forward. And jump forward. Genius. That is ponies. Oh, no, wait. Oops. Honest cannot clear this gap. expecting um <laughs> um okay hold on got to identify nice is a poison pokey. As you probably guess, it's a poisonous pokey. Max HP 8, attack 4, defense 0. If you get poison, your HP will slowly drain, so you may want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they don't have spines all over, so don't touch them. They may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. Oh wow, the audience is being very generous. Oh, good. No, that, that's in our favor. Damn it. Probably gonna stick... Stick to you. Preemptive strike ability. <laughs> it's 
so good. Um, well, there's multiple here, so let's just... Man, that one was too quick. It's alright. That should do enough. Alright, Ponus, you're up. Oh, crap. Ah! I released it too early. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the fence group. Defense drop. Yeah, don't mess this up again. I may as well open with this because this is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, what am I going to put this into? I feel like I should go back to badges because there's more expensive badges I want to start using. I think health is okay for now. I can't say I've felt stressed out with health lately. Okay, um... Boost your partner's defense by one. There's another one that I wanted to use. I mean, this is not a bad one. That's a good attack increase. There we go. Item? It's an item. Spite pouch? Okay. Oh. That doesn't work. Just in the air. Um, that's fine. Do this. Um... Damn it. <laughs> Just 
Mist, Mist. Oh, now it's on the ground. There we go. What's this? I don't know mine. Nope. <laughs> I am not messing around with this. Worthwhile. Eh, it's a dizzy dial, who cares? Uh, I'm just gonna use. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, wait. I mean, I guess this is worse. A badge up there. I'm curious, like, what Mario grabs onto when this is a thing. Oh, wow. be sneaky about this. Oh, that works? <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not cool. Oh, I gotta use. Hang on. That's a spiky para buzzy. It's a buzzy with a spike and wings. Max HP 5, attack 3, and defense 4. Hey, that's the same stats as a normal buzzy. Fire and explosions won't work on buzzies, in case you've forgotten. Ugh, worse yet, this one flies in the air and has a spike? What a total pain. You're better off using an item or a special move to take him out. Oh no. Ah, the poison! Item, you say. Thunder!
Oh, this is going to, this is going to be the same thing again, isn't it? Okay, it's just these. These are fine. Good experience. Ooh. A lot of them. Alright, I'm using special for this. Come on, I was like, <laughs> that was half a second too early. That's not cool. Oh, it's immune? Wow, okay. Got it. Alright, cool. No poison this time. This is a good area. It's giving me decent XP and the enemies aren't too much of a pain. Okay. Did I think that would work? Oh, but this just leads back up here. Oh, I see. Trying to get it in there. That was probably not the right move. Oh, never mind. I don't know if I got this correct. Those beetles just seem like a pain, so I'm not going to fight them. this. What if I can just go in there? Nice no, locked. Alright. Just checking. What? 
They're just normal Goombas. Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? Ten? Three. One. Two. Three. Okay. <laughs> I did the right thing. I wonder what the ramifications would have been if I uh, didn't do that right. Why is this here? Oh! The Ultra Boots. Hi, it's me again, Tate. It's nice to see you again. Way to get the Ultra Boots. Now your jump attack power will go way up. And you can use a new jump technique too. Let's practice it right now. It's a little hard, but I know you'll get it. Just hold A and rotate to make your body fold up. Then release A to do a spring jump. Remember though, you need to rotate a lot before you release A. Neat. The spring jump and help you reach new areas since you can grab pipes above you. Okay. Wow, way to go, Mario. Alright, all good. If you punch a panel from below, you can knock off something sitting on top of it. Oh uh, yeah, you can use the spring jump in battle too. So see you next time, I guess, and good luck on your quest! Interesting. I gotta look for pipes. I don't remember where else this would be useful. So, tutorial key. <laughs> That's basically what this is. So, wait. This being locked, there's actually no way to unlock it. Nope. I'm good. Not worth the time. Is this still here, I wonder? Ow. Ugh, man. <laughs> I get that this is how the original was, but call it quality, quality of life. Let me carry more items. You 
can't control the jump there. It's just purely to get onto pipes. Oh, I see. Clever. So now I know how to get that other item. Wasn't so bad. Uh oh. Well, Gonzalez, what in the world are these little monsters? Let's chase them off and find that switch fast. Oh, well, let's get a preemptive strike here. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a battle. This works. I'm not getting my hands dirty. Again, the villains are Vivian's sisters, so... Yep, they're nowhere to be found. Hmm. I don't like this. It's <laughs> strangely straightforward. I just realized how much money I have. Hey, thanks a lot, Mario. Now we'll get you guys rolling. The day is just passing you on by. Hurry, all aboard, everybody. Have a good trip. King K, sup, Gonzalez. Yo, G-Money, it's me, King K, your bud from the Glitz Pit. I know you remember me. How you doing? What? You off KOing fools left, right, and somewhere else? I'm still living large in the minor league, but I'm keeping busy. You know what? You know how it is. I gotta thank you again for convincing me to stay. You fired me up good. So, are we ever gonna chill again or what? Or are we just gonna meet in the ring? Careful, next time you front on the King K, I'm gonna be way, 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 way better. Keep it real. All aboard! Ready to hop on board? Yep. Let's go. Fake toad.
Hmm. I was expecting it to transform to the villain. Attention all passengers, thank you for your patience. Our next stop is, our last, Poshley Heights. This is a long chapter then. It's already been a couple of hours. Welcome, welcome. Today's dinner is the mushroom full course. But hey, in my opinion, even though the chef is good and all, he only seems to be able to cook with mushrooms. Hello, the mushrooms in tonight's dinner were just picked at Riverside Station. Uh, are you completely sure that those won't make us ill? The shop is closed. That's... Huh. No red flags here. Well, I finally get home tomorrow. It's been a rather long time, to be honest. But the hour has grown late. You should get some rest, Luigi. It's been a long day. Guess we just have to go to bed. No one is having the dinner. Well, sounds like tomorrow we'll see Poshley Heights. We've got to get the Crystal Star before those others, at all costs. Let's get some sleep, so we're fresh in the morning. Ah, it's a new day. And what a cool, brisk morning. Uh, where is everyone? Okay. I'm going straight to the rear. Toad's not his, at his post. Odd that it won't open, it really seems like it should. Ah, uh, you can see them. Oh boy. I love how the shop is unaffected by this. <laughs> they commandeered the whole train, but nah, left the shop open. Commerce must continue. Well, I'm just going straight to the front of the train. The patch or you. Oi Mario, how's your stash? Life on the island feels great. When the sun rises, I wakey-wakey, and when it sets, I tuck in for snoozer time. Perfect for a simple bloke like me, right? Every now and then, that louse Flavio stops by and spits out some bitter drivel about treading water instead of season life. But I just tune them out. So, you off on another adventure? I think that suits you best. Give them ooligans. What for and save your princess. Jeez, I can't read that. Give him it what for? Throw him in the water. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Hmm? Is there something on the windshield? Ah! 
What are those things? Uh, aren't those things from the station yesterday? They must have stirred away. What? Should I? First, we have to ensure that the passenger safety. I have to keep driving the train. I'm sorry, I can't keep doing this. How do we fix this? Oh, now it opens. No, they've got it inside the train cars. You have to clear them out. Like little pieces of squid ink popcorn. Just keep keep appearing. Okay, there we go. Ah, Detective Mario, you saved us again. Hey, I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. Scary. Where in the world did they come from? Wait, they still have our other paying passengers. Oh, those poor souls. Now this makes sense. Holy crap. I wonder if you are best for this job. Do the Kirby thing. Inverse Kirby. I get the feeling... My, there are a lot of them. Move them out of the way so we can get through. I mean, I'm trying. Step and hammer. Oh, I'm swapping back to Vivian. Uh, 
They're like a hive mind. Oh, that is frightening. What is this, that nasty thing? Oh. Mario, look, it's got the other passengers. Help! <laughs> ah! Swog! I wonder what its name is. Well, you know. That's his tradition. Not that. Battle. That's a smog. Lots of smogs gathered to create this huge monster. Max HP 50 attacks, 5 defense 1. It attacks with weird tentacles. We won't do any damage to the main body unless we defeat the tentacles first. That's simple biology. The tentacles will regenerate, so use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? It may also take other forms that expose more of its gross body, but boost its attack power. Let's hurry and beat this thing down. Okay, uh, first turn. Gonna use the uh, carriage shell. Let's just prime up. Okay, ow. Oh, man. Items. Thunder. Okay, now. Only. Ugh, that did not do... That was not worth the damage it did. Okay, we're going with Ponus. Let's just use regular attacks. Man, that did way more than the special ever did. Honest, no! Uh oh. Stop attacking Ponus! Dude. Thunder! I have to swap. Good bobbery.
It says enemy. I think we'll just go with normal. This seems to be working. Uh oh. It looks, uh, not happy. Oh my god. Um, what can we do here? I guess this should be enough. Yeah, Mario's boots do a lot. Ah, oh, too early. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Is that it? Maybe not. No, that was it. Wow. Alright, that was straightforward with the lightning items that I picked up. Thank you. Boy, it's like all you did for three days was save us. How can we ever thank you? Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you so much. You shaved my life. No, stupid tongue of mine. You saved my life. So, did you all know? This dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along. We will soon arrive at Poshley Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. That was a fun chapter. Well, part of a chapter. Attention all passengers, now arriving at Poshley Heights. Please watch your step and be sure to take all of your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the Excess Express. We've made it, old boy. Let's find that Poshley Sanctum that Professor Frankly spoke of post haste. We have a bit of time until our next departure. Okay. God, I get the feeling. No? Okay. I just figured maybe. Alright, well, this is a good stopping point. This chapter is a long one. I cannot continue any further. It is late, and I'm a bit wrecked. <laughs> I, I can't keep doing the voices. Um, yeah, we'll pick this up tomorrow again. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you've been enjoying as well. If you do want to support the channel over there, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or watch me play other things if you want by clicking those videos at the end. Thank you to those that do check out more of the content. It does help the channel out a lot, so thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll continue this next time. <laughs>